So for tonight's dinner on the Casually Cook With Me show, I just named it that, I'm gonna be making some orange chicken with a brown rice and some charred green beans and carrots. So if you don't have any of these ingredients, that is totally fine, uh, except you do need some orange juice and some chicken. But if you wanna switch the vegetables, no problem. If you wanna skip rice, also no problem. We're flexible in the casual kitchen. We just chill, we have some wine, and we make delicious mistakes. Cheers to a great night, you guys, and I'm excited to cook with you. I would not pair a red wine with this. I really wouldn't, but it's kind of what I have. I already opened the bottle, which is so annoying because now I have to finish it. Oops. Our first step here, we're gonna have to prep our vegetables and prep our chicken. I've had my chicken brining, I'll show you, in some salt water for about 30 minutes. Sorry, I know that's like kind of an ugly visual, but I just wanted to show you, it's just in a lot of water with a lot of salt. You can jazz it up with orange juice, but my raw materials are very precious and I didn't want to waste orange juice on a marinade, so I just did classic salt and water. I also have some green beans that are washed and some carrots. I've already cut some of them into matchsticks, but I wanted to show you how to do that while we're here. You can cut your carrots however you like. You can even just grate them, but this is just a fun little trick that I figured you guys should know how it's done. So I have this carrot. Believe it or not, this is the ugliest carrot, but it has been washed. I'm just going to cut it. I'm using a santoku, but you can use a chef's knife or even a paring knife. And I'm gonna cut the ends off and cut it into thirds. My goal here is to make my carrot the same thickness as a green bean. So this is pretty similar, if you can see that. And I'm doing this so that the carrot cooks evenly. And you see this rectangle here? Do match sticks or slices that are as thick as your green beans. And then we're gonna cut them into our match sticks. Now let's prep our green beans. So I'm gonna move these over and do the same thing. This is a little less prep than our carrots. Essentially, all we really wanna do is cut these little stringy things off of our green beans. Um, I'm just gonna move this onto my clean counter. You can do this with kitchen shears or you can do it a few at a time. I find it to be like the most annoying process because you have to line the ends up and then the ends are uneven and it's just a whole thing. I just diced some chicken breast. I didn't pound them or anything and they are now evenly diced you know, relatively even, just so they cook at the same rate. It's important, stay clean everybody. I'm gonna get a bowl. <clears throat> I'm just gonna use this classic white bowl. Can you see in my bowl? So I have some soy sauce here. Pour that in. I'm just gonna cut a navel orange, your basic navel orange in two quarters. And I will just zest the skin after this is cleaned. I'm gonna squeeze all of the juice in. If there are any seeds that fall in here, just take them out. That's so simple. If you're not a pulpy person, get rid of the pulp. Um, you know, we're here. I might as well just like zest. Because we're gonna be using this grater anyway. Let's add our ginger and garlic. So I have some fresh ginger here. I peeled it. I'm just gonna grate it on my microplane like this. A microplane is basically a very fine grate. You can also use a um, dried ginger powder. So if you don't have the fresh stuff, which sometimes it can be hard to find, then feel free to use a ginger powder. Now I'm gonna grate some garlic, um, which goes a lot faster than the ginger. I'm 
I, I have a little bit of that garlic left over. I'm gonna smash it with the back of my knife. Be careful if you're doing that, especially if you have a sharp Santoku knife like mine. We are almost done with our sauce. I'm going to just fish out some large orange chunks. I'm gonna add some rice vinegar, or you can also add mirin, which is a rice wine. I'm going to add some honey as well. This needs a little help coming out of the bowl. So I'm just going to give it a little tap tap. Let's give that a little mix. Give it a mix. Finally, let's fold in our tapioca starch. Okay, so. I'm gonna give this a whisk and get all the chunks out. Okay. Now, we're ready to party. Let's blanch our vegetables. Pretty simple stuff here. So, I have a saute pan behind me. I also have some boiling water. I have heavily salted that water because when you're blanching vegetables, you want the vegetables to soak up any and all flavor that it can. What is blanching? What am I talking about? Well, let me tell you. So blanching is basically encouraging cooking by boiling before you roast or you stir fry. It's essentially halfway cooking your vegetables. So the outside is really tender and the steam brings out that vegetableiness and the natural flavors, but the inside is raw. So when you're cooking it in a skillet, it's not going to overcook and become mush. It's still going to keep its flavor, still going to keep its pigment, and it's going to take less time to cook. I'm going to season a skillet with some oil. My cooking oil that I'm using, I'm going to use some olive oil, really classic. This is my chicken skillet, and this is my vegetable skillet. I'm going to strain out any thick, orange pieces and any big garlic chunks. There we go. Not necessary. I'm adding that grated garlic and ginger back in, but the large pieces and chunks I'm leaving out. So they are really bright and vibrant in color. Woo! A little bit of water is going to get in there. So just stand back. You can dry these off. I just don't think it's necessary. Tongs. Now I'm going to evenly disperse them throughout the pan. And I'm going to let them sit. Ooh. Alrighty. Okay, in the meantime, I want you to see our vegetables. They are charring really nicely. They're going to be done soon. And now that it's halfway cooked, I'm gonna add our sauce. And hopefully, if all goes well, this will cook down and reduce nicely with our chicken. You see how it's reducing and bubbling? I do wanna know if you guys don't have tapioca starch and you have cornstarch, even just flour, that's fine. You can even grind some rice up and make a rice flour, which you can use as a thickener. So, a little fun fact going on. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna bring these over. Look at it! Woo! Perfectly. Perfection. I'm gonna turn off the heat. And just put it back here and let it sit. This has thickened a lot into a sauce. It's actually pretty great. So I'm gonna try it very quickly. And I'm just feeding my family, so this is fine. I'm fine with me trying it. I know Sebastian is too. Mm. I'm going to serve it in a bowl. I don't really feel like moving this plate since it's huge. I'm just gonna put some on the side. So I have our plates. Our chicken is bubbling away. Wow, these are truly like fire 
roasted. Nice and crispy. You would never believe this was done not in the stove. Just, I mean, not in an oven, just on a stove top. Scallions, baby. And that is for topping. I would say if we're measuring, it's about two tablespoons or one and a half tablespoons. You just put the chicken on top here, if you want to see. So just all over the place. It doesn't have to be pretty. Top it with some sesame seeds. Any kind that you want. I also, I have black and white. So I'm using both. I also like some crushed garlic on top, the dried garlic. And finally, some scallions. You ready? Mmm. 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 -mm. Wow. It's so flavorful. And when I have orange chicken, the original recipes that I've tried, they incorporate a lot of brown sugar. And I'm saying that because I've never made orange chicken before, but the classic ways that Chinese takeout restaurants make it is with a sugar. And it's usually very sweet. This one, it's not very sweet. It is salty, not too salty. It is zesty. The orange aroma and essence is so tasty. And I love it that it's healthy, delicious, not too sweet. I actually feel like this tastes like takeout. If you do like your orange chicken on the sweeter side, just add more honey or agave nectar. Um, you can also use molasses or a hoisin sauce. You can buy that pre-made. Hoisin typically has molasses in it, so you can look at the ingredients and kind of play off of that. But I like to just keep everything natural because what day is it? It's Tuesday right now. I'm looking to just be a little more healthy than usual, and I think this is a great solution. I will put the exact recipe on my website, which is withskylar.com. My Instagram is diningwithskylar. My personal account is Skylar Bouchard, and uh, I just got a lot going on. So thank you guys for watching. I love streaming with you, and thank you for cooking with me on Casually Cooking with me. I'm Skylar Bouchard. Thank you for watching and have an amazing night. Let's look at our dish one more time. Woo! Bye, guys.